Hello everyone, welcome. I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. I have in my hand here the Charles Darwin Bible. This is a Bible that uh, I saw with a Christian brother and I decided to take it from him and have a look before I give it back to him. It is actually a New Testament Bible, but there is something I want to bring up. This Bible is a witness against Charles Darwin. He doesn't believe in the existence of God. He woke up one day and decided to deny the existence of God and deny the existence of a creator. He says that we human beings came out of evolution and not as a result of creation. Genesis chapter 1 and uh, chapters 1 and 2 make us to understand that God created the whole world in six days and on the seventh day he rested and the earth was without void was without form and void the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water upon the face of the deep and God said that there be light there was light and God started his work of creation but Charles Darwin postulated lies, scientific lies, that uh, apes became human beings. If it is a biological process, then it's supposed to be continuous. We've seen mango trees, that mango trees bear mango fruits, and the fruits continue to grow to become mango trees when they are planted. So if uh, a theory of Charles Darwin is actually the true, the truth. Then we should be seeing more monkeys and apes, gorillas becoming human beings. But even very painfully to today, many governments of the world pay heavily to cover up these lies. Now tell me how many scientific books, how many. Uh, biological books have been written that uh, are not affected by the lies of Charles Darwin. We should be careful of the actions we take because we could be confusing the next generation. This man could be in hell. That means if he never repented before he died. He has caused the, the, the fall of millions and billions of human beings. One man, I don't believe that this lie will die till Jesus Christ will come because there are people who are still going to build on these lies. There are more books to be written based on this lies of evolution. Evolution is a lie. It robs our children of their faith in Jesus Christ it robs them of their faith in the Creator, God Almighty. Your life could also be confusing people. If we don't live for the truth, somebody could co copy our lifestyle and adopt it. And even uh, other people could copy it from that person and then the world is going worse. It doesn't matter where we find ourselves. It doesn't matter what we believe. The truth is that we can't change the truth. This lie cannot change the truth. The truth is that God created the heavens and the earth and the world itself is going to come to an end one day even very soon. Charles Darwin's lies have nothing to do with the truth. The truth remains and that God is going to bring everything under judgment. I just want to read uh, a quote and uh, a few lines at the back of the Bible to us. There's a quote here by J.K. Shestati. Merely having an opinion, uh, merely having an open mind is nothing. I quote again. Merely 
having an open mind is nothing. The object of opening a mind as of opening the mouth is to shut it again on something solid by G.K. Chesterton. I, I want to read the note, the writer of uh, this Bible, the commentator uh, puts here. I don't know if it's a commentator, but this is what is written at the back of the Bible. Darwinian evolution and the biblical account of creation are incompatible. That is the truth. Incompatible. If you are Christian and you are believing in evolution, you have robbed yourself of the essence of your Christian belief. Either God made man in his own image as morally accountable beings, male and female, reproducing after their own kind, or he didn't. If the theory of evolution is a scientific fact, then the Bible should be discarded as a mere mythology. But if the Bible is right, shall Darwin single-handedly propagated our uh, a fantasy that has hoodwinked millions, and that is the truth. Millions of people have been deceived because of the single lie. Whatsoever information that comes your way, please astray it. In the truth of God's word, today, do you also know that many believers have been deceived, not by Charles Darwin, but by people who call themselves prophets, but are secretly, directly or indirectly working for the devil. Don't let anybody deceive you. This is a man that was born some time ago and he ended up deceiving millions and billions of human beings. And he says that the earth has lasted for millions of years. It is a lie. Um, this is a man that was born in 1809, Charles Darwin, on February 12, 1809. And by 1837, Darwin draws a simple evolutionary tree in one of his notebooks below the West, I think, I think. So he thought of something and decided to cook it very well. With the help of Satan, he came out with the theory of evolution and people swallowed it. Till today, people are still swallowing it. Don't let anybody deceive you. God is going to bring everything under judgment. The judgment of God is coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Judgment of God is coming and only those who believe the truth of the Bible and live by it are going to escape the judgment of God. Uh, Habakkuk says, I tremble in myself that I may have rest in the day of trouble. Please let us serve the Lord with fear and trembling. Then don't allow anything rob you of your Christian faith, even your Pure Christian faith, your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Visit our website, eagleiopuna.com. God bless you. Bye.